Has your dog been licking his feet way more than normal? To the point where the paws look red or raw between the toes? Keep watching to find out why this might be and how to help. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. I'm Vanessa from Dogs Naturally, and I'm about to tell you what interdigital cysts are, what breeds are most susceptible, and three ways to treat them at home. Let's get started. So what exactly are interdigital cysts? As you probably know, digits are fingers, or in your dog's case, the individual toes that make up their paws. Interdigital just means between the digits, so interdigital cysts are any kind of abscess in the webby area between your dog's toes. This irritating problem often involves a bacterial infection, and the medical terms for it are interdigital furunculosis or follicular pododermatitis. Wow, that's a mouthful, isn't it? There are a few signs to look out for that may indicate this painful problem in your dog. The main sign is excessive licking or chewing of one or more paws and limping or walking unusually. If you notice your dog's doing this, Take a closer look between his toes. If you see redness, inflammation, or unusual sores, you're probably dealing with interdigital cysts. This includes hairless bumps, red welts, sores, wounds, blood, or pus. There's no need to panic. As with most injuries, you need to control the infection and heal the wound. So here are three safe home remedies to do just that. First step is to do a cleanse and detox using Epsom salts, shampoo, and conditioner. The first step in this remedy is to soak the affected paw or paws in a warm Epsom salt bath to draw out the harmful materials in the skin and soothe the swelling and pain. Next, shampoo and condition the affected area before drying it out using a homemade foot powder. Ground organic oats and bentonite clay are a great way to do this either alone or in a combination. Simply prepare the powder and dust it between the affected toes to help dry the wound. The second home remedy for interdigital cysts is paw balms and butters. These nourishing concoctions protect the wound, have antibacterial properties, and heal dry, cracked paws. When choosing a balm, make sure it is made with natural ingredients that are dog-friendly, meaning they are safe to eat. For example, look for things like beeswax, shea butter, and aloe vera. The third home remedy is foot baths every few days to promote healing. We already talked about an Epsom salt bath, but you can also use apple cider vinegar or all natural herbal teas to create an astringent foot bath that is great for healing sores. Simply add a few tea bags to a gallon of warm water and let the tea steep. Now, instead of drinking it, have your dog stand in it for about 30 seconds and then let the paws air dry. Some breeds are more prone to this condition, such as Sharpays, Boxers, pit bulls, and German Shepherds. It's also common in breeds with broad paws like Great Danes, Mastiffs, and Labs. What do all these breeds have in common? In short, bristly fur on the feet and excessive webbing that can cause ingrown hairs. The irritation causes your dog to lick, which affects the outer layer of the skin and leads to inflammation and formation of a cyst. Atopic dermatitis also puts your dog at risk for this condition, eczema. Due to allergens, stress, dry skin and infection can trigger a flare-up. Even food allergies, yeast infection, mites, and excess weight that puts pressure on the feet and toes can lead to interdigital cysts. Of course, to make sure it is indeed interdigital cysts you're dealing with, you can visit your holistic vet. Now you know some simple, natural ways to treat the problem at home. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe so you can get more useful tips in the future.